Let's go back to my favorite whipping boy, college. Take a look at what Trump is telling us. Trump wants federal hiring to focus on skills over degrees. It's about fucking time. This is what I've been saying again for years. Now, let's see if they actually put their money where their mouth is. Because I'm starting to do Trump is realizing the same shit that so many employers are realizing in current year. That uh, most college degree holders that are being shat out of college these days are worthless. These companies would be way better off just hiring complete noobs and getting them trained in whatever they want out of them like they used to do back in the days before college than hiring a degree holder. Because colleges don't crank out uh, well-adjusted uh, members of society. They crank out political activists. If you hire a college grad, there's at least a 50% chance that you're going to get an activist that doesn't give a fuck about doing the job they were paid for. All they care about is taking over your company to use to push their political agenda. That's it. President Donald J. Trump is preparing to direct the federal government to overhaul its hiring to prioritize a job applicant's skills over a college degree administration, administration and industry officials say. Oh, he did. He signed this order. Trump is set to sign an executive order Friday. Uh-huh. He did. He did. I remember outlining a new direction for the nation's largest employer. The, the federal government is the largest employer in the nation. That's actually, I don't, that really doesn't sit well with me, but it is what it is. During a meeting of the board that advised the administration on worker policy, Ivanka Trump, the president's daughter and advisor, is co-chair of the American Workforce Policy Advisory Board and has worked on improving job training to meet employers' changing needs. I've gone over this before, but in case there's some new people here, I have to say this again. The entire pitch for that colleges made to employers was, oh, hey, employers, why don't you start requiring college degrees for your jobs? Aren't you sick of wasting all of those months, if not years, and all of that money training up employees? some of which might end up being total shit and you have to get rid of them and then start the process over with a new one. I mean, that's a lot of risk, right? It costs a lot of money, takes a lot of time. Why don't you stop doing that and just hire college degree holders? Let us do that job for you. Let us train these people up. We will train them uh, how to think. We will train them how to learn. They will be well-adjusted people, ready to be productive in society. And uh, for a little while, that was true. And nowadays, though, nah, see, because back when that pitch was made, only a small fraction of people actually went to college and graduated from college. So you kind of were getting either the best of the best or the most politically connected, one of the two. So it was still a pretty good choice overall, right? Now, literally fucking everyone goes to college. College is the new high school. A college degree is the new high school diploma. It's expected you have gone through college now. So the entire selling point of college to employers is just gone. And I've seen a lot of employers in my local area actually realize this. And they've even blacklisted certain colleges completely when they're hiring because they've had nothing but bad experiences with people from there. And now they're starting to uh, drop their degree requirements completely. Now they're starting to realize that they'd be way better off just training a fresh high school graduate to do the work exactly how they want it rather than hiring a college grad who's going to try to change everything about how the company does things to suit their politics. And the federal government is finally catching on to this as well, which is fucking awesome. The federal government is the nation's largest employer with 2.1 million civilian workers, ex excluding postal service employees. Ivanka Trump predicted the change in federal government hiring would create a more inclusive and talented workforce. She encouraged the private sector to follow the administration's lead. And this is another thing, by the way. They could use the SJW's own tactics against them. 
they could claim that requiring a degree is racist because of how uh, uh, how uh, inner city black kids generally don't get degrees. So they're being gate kept out of these good jobs. There you go. You could play their own race cards against them. Fucking perfect. We are modernizing federal hiring to find candidates with the relevant competencies and knowledge rather than simply recruiting based on degree requirements. Uh huh. We encourage employers everywhere to take a look at their hiring practices and critically think about uh, how initiatives like these can help diversify and strengthen their workforce. Yeah, just hire someone who uh, you know can learn quickly. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this straight up. There are people out there who, uh, if they even if they don't have the skill set you're looking for, they can really quickly learn and pick it up. And then there's other people out there. You could spend eight years trying to train them in it, and they'll still be worthless. And those are the, the latter kind are the kind you get out of college for the most part. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, the board's uh, other co-chair, said the, said the need for skills training and apprenticeships is as great as it was before the beer virus pandemic forced millions of people out of work, pushing the national unemployment rate above 13% in May. Yup, apprenticeships. That's a big one that I say they really need to bring back. Skills training, trade schools. Americans are eager to get to work, but they need our help. Yeah, they're stuck with worthless degrees and they need to actually find a way to transform that into a job. The White House isn't eliminating degree requirements altogether, but instead will stress skills and jobs where having a degree is less important. <sighs> Baby steps. Eventually they'll need to... Now, maybe not all jobs. I mean, I could understand why a doctor, for example would have had to go through eight plus years of schooling first. But for the vast majority of jobs, you don't fucking need a degree. The only jobs, in my opinion, that I say should require a degree, at least until the apprenticeships are brought online, are jobs where going to college is literally the only way you can get access to the super expensive equipment you need to learn your job. How the fuck else is a doctor going to learn to be a doctor if they can't either be an apprentice or they go to some college where they have access to all the equipment and supplies they need. You know, Aid said the change will create more opportunities for Americans to work for the federal government by recognizing that some learning happens outside of classrooms. Most learning happens outside of classrooms, actually. The vast majority of them. Ivanka Trump and other administration officials have pushed to increase opportunities for apprenticeships and have promoted such training and vocational education as alternatives to a traditional two-year to four-year college degree programs. And I 100% support this decision. The Office of Personnel Management will be responsible for implementing the president's order. IBM is among the companies that have moved in this direction. Last year, 15% of its new U.S. hires had non-traditional backgrounds because they were evaluated based on skills instead of looking only at their degrees. Ginny Rometty, uh, the company's executive chairman, said via the White House. Man, IBM may actually be able to turn their company around if that's true. We hired from new areas of the country, including underserved communities, and this promoted more diversity in the applications we received. Yep, use their own tactics against them. At the meeting, the Workforce Advisory Board is also expected to announce details of a private sector ad campaign led by Apple, IBM, and the nonprofit ad council to promote alternative pathways to indoctrination. Well, there you go. Turning things around. Holy shit. Now, uh, you know all of these fucking college scammers are probably quaking in their boots. And when they see uh, they're facing the prospect of their paychecks just disappearing. Oh man, I am so excited to tell you guys right now that finally, after about a year of build-up and shilling, we have launched Blade Devil on Indiegogo, and so far it is doing so well thanks to awesome people like you. If you haven't backed it yet, then please check the links in the description and check out Blade Devil on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. Looking forward to seeing you there.